Thank you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'd like to bring up to the stage our, our partner with this promotion, um, good friend. Um, it was great to work with him and his team, a very professional group. And I, like I said, I understand why they've been so successful. It was, again, it was a great honor to be able to work with them. And I would love to work with them at any time the opportunity presents themselves. Give a big round of applause for Dana White. What's up, gang? Any questions for me? Because I'm tired. Hey, Dana, Dana in the back over here. Yeah. Straight in the back. Just can you assess Connor's performance, in your opinion? Uh, did he do better than you thought? It, was this what you saw in uh, training at the Performance Institute? Yeah, no, I'm so proud of Connor tonight, man. You know, it's not the fight that I thought it was going to be. It was a completely different fight than I expected. Um, you know, Connor, when you get into professional boxing, right? And, you know, you guys know you start four rounds, you fight six rounds. He went ten rounds tonight with arguably the greatest to ever do it. Um, Max Kellerman, I've been trying to get a hold of him. He ain't answering his phone right now. But uh, he said that uh, Connor wouldn't land one punch on Floyd Mayweather. Um, you know, there were a lot of people that were super negative about, you know, this boxing match with, with, with Floyd, and, and Connor looked un unbelievable. I'm sure you guys probably already saw this, but if you, did, if you didn't, the CompuBox numbers were in nine of Floyd Mayweather's fights where it went 12 rounds. <clears throat> Uh, his opponents hit him with less than 100 punches. Connor hit him with 111 in less than 10 rounds. So it was a great fight. I, I, I'm really proud of Connor. And Dana, just to follow up on that a little bit, uh, given how well he did in the fight, you know, against a long guy, if he chose to box again, would you endorse that and would you work with him on it? I'm sorry, what'd you say, Kevin? I just said if he chose to box again, given how well he did, would you uh, endorse that and, and work with him on that? I would rather he did not. You know, this, this isn't what he does. He's a mixed martial artist where he goes in and he fights and he uses all of his weapons, and tonight he was only allowed to use his hands. I think he did great tonight. I don't think there's anything else left to prove. Um, I would rather he, he, he fight in mixed martial arts. And Dana, I guess just to kind of follow up on that, let's, let's not talk about Conor McGregor specifically. I mean, this was a, a special, unique event. Would you be open to entertaining the idea of, of ever doing this, a, a cross-promotional bout like this again? I'm, I'm ready to get back to the UFC and do what I do, you know. Um, these guys, these guys were amazing to work with. No bullshit, you know me. These guys were awesome. The, the Team Mayweather, Al Heyman, much respect. These guys were, you know, like I said, I, I, I was expecting something completely different coming in to work with these guys because of how long it took to make the Pacquiao fight. But uh, it was, I can tell you, it wasn't this side. That I can promise you. Uh, these guys have been fantastic. And of course, the question on, on every UFC fan's mind is, is when is Conor McGregor going to step back in the octagon? I know it's early, but have you had a chance to speak with him at all? I mean, any indication of what should and could come next for him in the UFC? Yeah, I've been back there with him uh, pretty much this whole time, and, and we're not talking about fighting tonight, you know? He, 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 uh, he put on a great performance. He, 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 um, we're not talking about fighting. You know how he is, man. When he's ready, he'll let me know. Uh, Dana, Dana over here. Um, what, what, what do you, what's your response after the event tonight to people who said this was going to be a circus, that it would be a farce? Yeah, I, you, you know, you have to have, you have to have negative people, man. When you're, when you're doing stuff like this, it, 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 uh, it, it creates the debate and the back and forth. Um, but I knew Conor McGregor's a fighter, you know, and and. We saw a fight tonight. I don't know if tonight was the, the, the best boxing you've ever seen, but we saw a fight. And, and, and I mean, Connor was in here landing jabs on Floyd Mayweather. He was hitting him with right hands. He hit him with a big uppercut, hitting him with nice body shots. Uh, 
Conor McGregor looked damn good tonight to me. I, I don't know what everybody else thinks, but I thought he looked awesome, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him. Do you think your heavyweight champion, uh, Stipe Miocic, would do well in a, in a boxing match? I don't even want to talk about my other guys in a boxing match. Um, this, was, this was one of those, you know, two big superstars. This thing built from the bottom up, from the fans to the media, and then up to us when we even started remotely considering something like this. And it was just a real special event and a, and a, and a rare, it's a rare event. I'm not looking to do this again. Hey, Dana, straight back. Straight back, all the way back. Yeah. Um, considering that he did as well as he did tonight against Floyd, what do you think would have been the case if he had started out like a regular boxer, where you mentioned before, guys going to four rounds, six rounds. Tonight he went 10 with Floyd Mayweather. Had he had some experience and not just come in on his pro debut, how, how much better do you think he would have been able to perform? Yeah, I think for, for a lot of the people here today that, that are big boxing guys and have never liked MMA or whatever the deal might be, Conor McGregor is, is a rare, special individual, man. He's, he's an incredible fighter. He, he's willing to put everything on the line. It's like I say all the time, without any risk, there is no great reward. You must, you must, you know, the, the greats always, always risk. And Conor McGregor is that guy. He's a very special individual. I think if he would have started boxing, he'd have probably been very well. I mean, I mean, how can we even debate it? How can we even talk about it? He just went 10 rounds, 10 really good rounds with Floyd Mayweather. Hey, Dana, off to your right here. To your right. Yep. How you doing? Um, Conor's purse this evening was 10 times the size of his biggest disclosed purse in the UFC. Do you expect that to cause you problems in negotiations in the future? No. Listen, if, if, if our fights do what the buys did here tonight in the gate, we'll all be good. Trust me. Nobody will be bitching about anything. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Dana. To your left. Um, to your left corner. Right here. Hey. Champ Creed, Fox Sports Radio. Um, so before the fight today, it was announced that Top Ring Boxing is doing a deal with Disney uh, for their library distribution. And one of the things that was mentioned in the article was that they made an overture to, um, to you guys to see if we could if they could incorporate a deal. And we've seen you with the Zufa Boxing, McGregor Boxing Club. Is there anything that you know of uh, on high that will include boxing into the portfolio of what you guys have going on with the UFC? You know, I, 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 uh, I never say never. I've said never before and I was wrong. Um, I wanted to get th through this fight, get this fight behind us. And uh, first of all, I want to get back to business, doing what I do, which is the UFC. And I don't know, I would never say never, but it's not something I'm thinking about right now. Okay, and conversely, Leonard, now, now that you see the numbers that the UFC brought with their digital media infrastructure that helped boost the uh, social media attention, the views and the ticket sales, do you foresee yourself and Al Heyman, for Leonard Edelby, do you foresee yourself and Al Heyman dipping your feet in a pool of MMA, whether it be, you know, something under the PBC brand or the TMT brand? Was that to him? Yeah, that was for Leonard. <laughs> Who said? Now I mean, I'll ask it again. The UFC is and all the fans that came in and all the big social media push that yeah, we had behind us. Do, do you see? Uh, do you see yourself getting into MMA? Are you good? We're always open to doing anything if it if it makes business sense. You know, um, we're very good at what we do, and um, we're gonna continue doing our thing. Dana, I was talking to some other UFC people before the fight, even before the fight, and they were saying what this has done in bringing fans, you know, attention to the UFC is probably the best thing about this fight. Do you agree with that point? Elaborate. Say it again. What, what, what was the what was the question? You, I mean, other than Connor's strong showing tonight, even before the fight, some of the UFC officials I was talking to said the great thing about this fight is that it's bringing so many new fans to your sport, and it will do that. Is that is that the same way you feel? I don't know. I, I don't I don't know if that's the case. The, 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 the way that I look at fights and the way that I look at fighting is, we're going to have fights that we put on that are for the hardcore UFC fans. We're going to have um, some fights that will do better than, and then we'll have 
have some fights that are big where we do the the the, the, the Diaz Connor 1.5 million, you know, these type of things. It, it takes it takes two very special people in the right place in the right time to do the the freakish kind of numbers and 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 and, and the water cooler talk and all the things that this fight had. You got to have the right people in the right place at the right time. This 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 shit doesn't happen all the time. You know what I mean? This has happened twice. It's happened twice. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause.